Macedonia in English. Just about everything you want to know. Prime Minister Gruevski addresses NATO Parliamentary Assembly plenary session. In his address to the NATO Parliamentary Assembly's 58th plenary session in Prague on Monday, Prime Minister Nikola Gruevski said Macedonia meets the reforms and had fulfilled the NATO membership conditions and criteria even before the Bucharest and Chicago summits. Furthermore, he added that 89% of the Macedonian people support membership in the alliance and the reforms and standards which are baked by Macedonia's allies. According to him, many of Macedonia's partners say that the country is de facto NATO member, especially in terms of the contribution to the alliance's missions and operations. He pointed out that it was neither a consolation nor, even less, a substitute for NATO membership the country deserved a long time ago. Gruevski also emphasized that the preparatory process for NATO membership had lasted for too long. Member of European Parliament began in statements following visit to Macedonia. The sudden activity regarding Macedonia, declared over the past weeks, is very late and sheds a negative light, not only in front of Macedonia, but also in the eyes of our European partners. The Secretary of the National Council of the Bulgarian Socialist Party, in charge of foreign policy and international activity, and Member of European Parliament Christian Vigenin said following his two-day visit to Macedonia, the Bulgarian news agency Focus reported. According to him, Bulgaria's government failed to achieve its goal of active policy in the Western Balkans and not only has it not taken significant steps regarding the problematic issues with Macedonia, but it has done the opposite. The inability to formulate and clearly set our demands causes additional confusion. The member of European Parliament pointed out. Bulgarian Foreign Minister Mladenov on Skopje Sofia ties. Bulgaria has no problems with Macedonia, but with the nationalist statements of some politicians there. Bulgaria's Foreign Minister Nikolai Mladenov said on Monday at the joint press conference with his counterparts, Greece Dimitris Avramopoulos and Romania's Titus Corleat. Our wish is to return to the principles which were confirmed in 1999 by the then Prime Ministers of Bulgaria and Macedonia and which closed to a large degree all possible bilateral issues between the two countries. Let's take those principles and confirm them again today, but this time with deeds, he added. Mladenov voiced his conviction that an agreement would be reached on the type of actions to make that happen if Skopje is interested and there is a normal bilateral dialogue. Macedonia in English. Just about everything you want to know.